the East Brunswick Public Library Foundation held the first annual Roots and Wings event. The library was transformed into an elegant gala and was attended by supporters of the library. Roots and Wings celebrates individuals whose success can be traced back to the library, and author and illustrator Brian Selznick was this year's honoree. Mr. Selznick, the creator of the invention of Hugo Capre, spoke with students about his childhood and creating art. I was finished with college, but I was living with my parents in East Brunswick, New Jersey, a couple blocks away. My mom still lives there. And I would go into the city during the day, work at the bookstore, take the bus back to East Brunswick at night, and then at night I would start working on my book and you know trying to make it better because my editor was giving me notes and I had to do all the drawings and so I came here to the East Brunswick Public Library and did research about Houdini right here for this book. Now have you guys ever finished something and then had your yes. teacher tell you you have to do it again? <laughs> do you like that? No. No. Uh, <laughs> no. I do not like being told to do something over it. So I was like no, I'm not going to do it again. I don't want to do it again. Like, okay, then you're fired. I was like, no, 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 don't fire me. I, 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 I really like this book. So my, so my editor had said that they wanted something more exciting, more in your face. And I didn't even really know what that meant. But I thought, all right, you want something in your face? I will give you something in your face. And so I thought, boom, right in your face. And that was actually uh, coming out of me being sort of annoyed at my editor and just being like, boom, right in your face. But then I thought, actually, you know what, that's a uh, better cover, I think. And so that became the cover for Frindle. Do you think this one is better than the other one? Yes. Yeah. Hey, thank you. Hi, how are you? Uh, listen, it's my uh, sincere delight to be able to welcome all of you, neighbors and friends, and all supporters of the great East Brunswick Library to the first ever Roots and Wings event, which we hope will be an annual celebration of not only the library, but also the successful individuals who grew up in our community and went on to achieve professional success in their chosen field. And who was, as a result, uh, positively reflect on our town and our library. On behalf of the East Brunswick Public Library, the Foundation Board, as well as the staff and volunteers, we're thrilled that you're joining us for this evening's Roots and Wings fundraiser. Tonight we're celebrating the contribution of the Library Foundation's commitment to keep our library vibrant and relevant. And we're thrilled to have, as its first honoree, award-winning author and illustrator, Brian Selznick. loved the wonder of the place. The fact that all these books could be mine. I could take any of them home that I wanted. At the time, the library also boasted an art collection that you could check out just like the books for two weeks. How thrilling it was to take home an Egyptian head or a reproduction of a Degas bronze, knowing for those two weeks I was the proud owner and I could touch it all I wanted. But in 2007, I published a book that took the lessons I'd learned from all of those books and combined them into one gigantic story that became the invention of Hugo Cabré. And Hugo, I think, is longer than pretty much all of my other books combined. And it was inspired by the fact that when I was a kid, I had seen this movie by George Méliès, A Trip to the Moon, from 1902. And eventually thought it would be interesting to tell a story about a kid who gets to meet George Méliès the way the Houdini box was about a kid who gets to meet Harry Houdini. <laughs> so I, I really just want to thank everyone for this incredible honor and this is uh, my sister Holly and my brother Lee and myself and most kids at this age want to be things like dancers or astronauts or firefighters. I wanted to be an artist, uh, my sister wanted to be a kindergarten teacher and my brother even at this age wanted to be a brain surgeon and we all grew up to become exactly what we'd wanted to be, thanks to the support of our parents and the education that we got here, right here in East Brunswick, New Jersey. Thank you. Thank you. Brian Selznick has achieved recognition as an award-winning illustrator and author with his last illustrated novel, Wonderstruck, debuting number one on the New York Times bestseller list 
and its forthcoming illustrated novel, The Marbles, due to be published in the fall of 2015. And whereas Mr. Selznick was raised in the township of East Brunswick and attended Warnsdorf for school and the East Brunswick High School and spent many happy years writing and researching in the East Brunswick Public Library. And <laughs> whereas on May 28th, the East Brunswick Public Library Foundation will hold its first annual Roots and Wings fundraising event with Mr. Selznick as the featured speaker, at which time he will discuss his inspirations and his writing techniques. <laughs> now, therefore, be it proclaimed that uh, Mayor David Stahl, which I'm not, uh, of the Township of East Brunswick, along with the Township Council and the residents of East Brunswick, welcome home Brian Selznick and extend him our best wishes on the publication of his latest novel and wish him continued success in his career. Be it proclaimed that Civic Center Drive <laughs> shall be named Brian Selznick Way. <laughs> It get, I mean, like as an outsider, it's given me a reason to love the library, um, to get to know the library. Um, I've been looking around this whole night, just like checking out the library. It's it's been really fascinating for my family's history and for like the history of this town that I've gotten to know as I've grown up. The event also celebrated library director Mary Ellen Firestone, who is retiring after 25 years at the library. We really worked hard for tonight. We really wanted it to be transformed. It is a wonderful way to end my career. So having this event here at the library and this kind of honor and all of this is a great and wonderful reminder that you know the, the work I've done is out there in the world. It, it's part of, it, it belongs to everybody. And to be able to be here just, I don't know, it just means so much.